Let's take a look how you can rotate your 3D logo using After Effects and Illustrator. All right, so we're gonna do this in the professional way. In other words, we're gonna start in Illustrator with a vector logo. So as you can see, this is the vector logo made out of pads. So basically it's like fully customizable. Let's go and export this as an EPS file. Go to File, Save As. Let's go to Save As Type and change it to Illustrator EPS. Let's go and check Use Artboards, Range 1, click on Save. Let's go with the default settings, click OK. Now let's go to After Effects, click on New Composition, Rename it as Logo. I'm gonna go with 1080p, 25 frame per second, 4 second duration, Black Background, click OK. Now let's go and drag and drop the EPS file here. And it's gonna show up like this. I'm also gonna hide the background right now. Press the letter S to scale it down. I'm gonna go with 60. So if I zoom in, as you can see, this is still a bitemap image. So we're gonna to need to transform this back into paths. So it's gonna be fully editable. So let's go ahead and right click on the layer, click on create and select create shapes from vector layer. Now you can delete the original layer. And now we're left with a fully editable shape layer. Now I'm gonna unhide the background, change up the color of the fill. And I'm gonna go with this purple, for example, click okay. Let's go ahead and activate the 3D on the logo. Click on this cube. If you don't have these settings, you can go to the toggle switch, click on it, and it's going to hide or unhide these settings. Also make sure that you're on the new advanced 3D, and we're gonna go to the camera and change it to custom view one. Now let's go and open up the layer. Let's go to geometry options, and here we got the extrusion depth, increase it, and extrude the logo. I'm gonna go with 250, let's go to the bevel style. I'm gonna change it to angular, and here you can increase the bevel depth. I'm gonna go with seven. I'm gonna change the custom view to left. And now we're gonna rotate the logo. So we're gonna to go to the transform, open it up. And here we got the new XYZ rotation. So I'm gonna go with the Y. And check this out, if I'm gonna increase this value, it is going to rotate, but it's gonna rotate the logo from the right front here. And we're gonna to need to move this anchor point or XYZ rotation here in the center. So it's gonna rotate it from the center. So in order to do that, you can go back to the extrusion depth and copy paste the extrusion value. I'm gonna click on it, control C. And now let's go to the anchor point and let's go to the values with the zero, zero. And we're gonna copy paste the 250 distributed with two. So it's gonna be one, two, five. And the anchor point is going to jump perfectly into the center. I'm gonna go back, change it to default. And now we can animate the rotation. Let's go to the X rotation. Also make sure your timeline is in the beginning here. Activate the stopwatch. I'm gonna bring it here. And let's go here to the zero, type in one. And this is going to rotate at 360 degree angles. So for example, I gotta put this second anchor point to the first second. And if you hit play, it is going to rotate fast. So I'm gonna bring this anchor point all the way to the fourth second at the end. And now it's gonna slow down and it also gonna loop itself perfectly. I'm also gonna make this metallic. Let's scroll down. Here we got the material options. Open it up, scroll down, and make sure the metal is on 100 and increase the specular shininess also to 100. So if you hit play, it is going to look something like this. I'm also gonna scroll up, collapse the layer, right click here, click on new, add a light, and make sure to select environment light. Make sure to check cast shadows, click OK. And now we're gonna have some shading action going on, but we're gonna also set up the light better. So we're gonna to go to the transform, open it up. And here at the X, Y rotation, you can rotate the light like so. And now you can hit play and it looks better. And this is how you rotate your logo in After Effects. Thanks for watching.